Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, Week in Tech. This week, uh, we have uh, uh, somebody I've known for a long time, uh, not a veteran, but a seasoned hand you know, in, in the entrepreneurial space. And he has also, uh, since 2007, if I'm uh, correct, David, right, yeah. uh, been a, a chairman of uh, PICOM mm -hmm. Malaysia. And I'd like to introduce to you uh, David Wong. David, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kramji, for having me here. <laughs> yep, on, on, as usual, our guests will tend to come on the show on very short notice. Uh, <laughs> Aisha is in the US, so we were, oh, okay. I was th we were thinking of somebody to have in on the show. Uh, and then, you know, we've okay. been meaning to eye you, you know, for one of these episodes. Okay, so, so I fear the guest. Today has okay. been your unlucky day. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Uh, David's uh, sweating a bit. He says the studio is uh, pretty cool. But he started to sweat because I told him I've got a surprise for him, you know, uh, halfway through the show. <laughs> so he doesn't know what it is, but I, you know, you'll see him maybe squirming a bit, but it's not a bad surprise, so don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's cool and uh, cozy here. Cozy, yeah, yeah we, we try nice, to make that. So. Nice studio. Very good, thanks a lot. Yeah. But, uh, okay, David, let, let's talk about, yeah. um, I'm, I'm going to talk about your entrepreneurial experience mm. and then, uh, you know, about uh, the work you're doing at, in PCOM. And I, I don't think you're the first uh, entrepreneur who's become chairman of PCOM, right? There, there been one or two others yeah, or are they, you the first no 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 you're I, not there I, certainly i'm not the first entrepreneur some yeah. have been professional managers right ceo of mncs sure, sure. yeah i think it's a mix uh. mm -hmm. pick up is about 22 years right now now so every two years mm -hmm. there's a new chairman, new chairman. So, uh, and and they are professionals they are entrepreneurs mm -hmm. so it's just that this yeah. time it's your turn yeah, like, yeah, yeah okay. that's right good mm -hmm. Uh, and then I want to talk a bit about OM also, right? So yeah. Because you are also, you know, have a personal, a business interest in that oh, space. Oh, yeah. yeah. I founded, the co-founded exactly. the OM. It okay. was three years back, yeah. That's three years back. Okay, 2006, right? Okay, yeah. great. And that was where the Prime Minister launched that in Austin. In, in Austin, the okay. States, yeah. All right, good stuff. So let, let's just quickly uh, uh, talk about PCOM first. And then, mm. you know, mm. uh, I, 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 and David just told me that ne end of this month is his last month uh, 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 or, you know, uh, his yeah. term as become chairman ends after four years? No, no. Uh, after two. two years, okay. And there was the other two was deputy chair. Oh, you are deputy chair, but uh, yeah. are you... Are you chair uh, is two. Chair was two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you can be chairman again. Can you be elected for another two years? If uh, you, or the constitution? If you want to, constitution allows that, but then there got to be some a break in between. Uh. Oh, there has to be uh, a break. But so far, oh. there hasn't been any chairman that comes up uh, because there are so many others who are capable. And, capable, and, and, and okay. We, we kind of take turn. Okay, you know? okay, all right. Uh, there are many who wants to you know, contribute to the okay, okay. industry. So okay, very good. Come. So, uh, you know, significantly in your two years now, you know, yeah. it, nearing your, uh, the end of your term, uh, what do you think have been your key achievements, you know, and what has been, uh, or the associations, you know, key achievements under your leadership? And what is the biggest thing you, you feel, like, you know, you're going to leave and say, ah, you know, I, I didn't finish that, and, you know, I'm going to make sure the next guy, you know, works on that too, because it's important yeah, for the industry. Question, uh, yeah, good question. Yeah, I think like anything else, mm -hmm. the the moment I stepped into this uh, chairmanship, yep. uh, the first thing I did was to Assess. craft out a long term plan. Okay, you know, and I remember it was then publicized in your cover page, mm -hmm. a five year become plan because okay, that okay. was really the first time that we do have a long term plan. Okay, long term view. So we, we with that plan, so at least it ensures continuity. Mm. It doesn't matter which other chairman takes chairman uh, comes over, in. Okay. but uh, I think PICOM needs uh, a plan that can sustain itself mm -hmm. and grow, you mm -hmm. know, uh, over time. Mm -hmm. Because we have come a long way. We are mm -hmm. 22, 23 years old association, yeah. and we have accumulated some a lot of some funds, mm -hmm. some resources, mm -hmm. and I think we can do a lot. Mm -hmm. So with a long-term plan like this, uh, we have five key trusts yeah, within okay, the yeah. plan. And that five key trust uh, okay. now is uh, been implemented. Okay, can you yeah. just quickly run through the key trust? Yeah, number one, we wanted to make sure that we had enable ICT for all. Okay. You know? In fact, before I come to the trust, mm -hmm. we actually changed the mission statement as mm -hmm. well. We, you know, because IT, our purpose of existence uh, in the beginning was to serve our members. Okay. But we thought that that's given. Mm, Any that's association, given. when members contribute, yeah. they expect value, sure. right? So we kind of shift that to uh, enabling IC and enabling and enriching ICT uh, as a society, you okay. know, with ICT. All right. uh, and then with that, there are five key trusts. Mm -hmm. So we call it a five by five year plan. Five five. You know, it's okay. a five year and the five key trusts. Five key trust. So the first trust was to ensure that you know uh, that everyone have access to. IT, whether IT. you're whether consumer, or, okay, SMEs, business, yeah. business, government, mm -hmm. rural areas. Okay. So the whole idea is to bridge the gap, digital okay. uh, divide. Mm -hmm. The second uh, 
trust uh, is really to continue that very close relationship with government because okay. for us to really uh, move something. forward and yeah. achieve even better. It's not that we are not able to achieve growth, okay. but I think we can accelerate growth uh, with government mm -hmm. uh, and especially in si important programs. And that's where you need intervention from okay. government okay. as well, okay. policy intervention, for yeah. example. Okay. The, 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 the third is uh, we want our local players to look outward. Okay. Right? Because uh, the, the market here is very limited. Of course, absolutely. So exports is the way to go, okay. right? And fourth is to strengthen our own secretariat. Oh, okay. Uh, and we have a lot of flagship activities such as PC Fair, okay. which has now expanded to more than 35 towns. Wow. In fact, this is the only fair that you see in so many cities and so towns. It, it, it become like a national kind of yeah. carnival, you know. Uh, and a lot of remote towns, mm -hmm. uh, citizens, they look forward very much uh, to PC Fair. Okay. And you should you should uh, you, you should tie that in with with uh, 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 TV3's Jom Hebo, you know, when Jom you have Hebo. your concert, yeah, <laughs> got huge crowds there, then you know you have yours at the you know, yeah, exactly. at the same next to the parking yeah, lot, yeah, you know, yeah. have a venue. In fact, there. people <laughs> relate it as like circus in town. I mean, it's like those days when we look so forward so much to circus, you yeah, know, fun course, fair yeah. uh, when they More. come to town and the, you are able to bring a whole family. <laughs> yes, yes. So this is a, one of the most cost-effective mm. uh, way to experience uh, mm. IT because otherwise they have to come all the way to Kuala yeah, Lumpur. Exactly. So now they just by the street and uh, yes. site and they're able to do it. Yeah. See? And, and the last one uh, uh, was ready to ensure that our industry continues to be competitive all the time. Mm. Competitive, okay. Yeah, and to do so, we've got to make sure that we have a strong research. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we set up a research. Department. Yeah, and you had your first publication too. I oh, should have brought that downstairs. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, yes, I, I missed that. Also. Industry report. Yeah, the industry report, which we launched uh, just in conjunction with National ICT yeah. month a uh, couple of months back, mm -hmm. and also to make sure that the talent, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the knowledge worker okay. uh, side of the uh, supply side, okay. uh, are in place. Uh, are in place to yeah. meet those demand. To meet the demand. So. So that's the five key okay, trusts. Yeah. Trust, huh? So you, uh, I mean, I was at a biotech conference on Tuesday, uh, yeah. Malaysia Life Sciences Fund and uh, MTDC mm. had a CEO's uh, Life Sciences uh, conference. Yeah. And one of the CEOs was down from the US, uh. said that, you know, if you look at a country outside of the US, they first, if you're in the biotech space, you've got to look at the talent pool, you know, uh. what kind of talent pool you have. Uh. And then secondly, he mentioned we would be concerned about IP. So... The talent pool, you know, you are you are partly doing your role. But I guess if, if there was one criticism I would have of, of PICOM is I don't see you all coming up very strongly and saying, you know, IP, you know, mm -hmm. is important, you know, and, and we need to respect IP. You know, you mm -hmm. go to the digital mall in PGA Section 14 mm -hmm. and there's still one shop there which sells, you know, pirated DVDs. And uh, mm -hmm. that's very disappointing to me as, mm -hmm. as, uh, as, as a peripheral player of the ICT industry or so, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you shouldn't have that. So I haven't seen too much of PICOM coming out and saying, mm -hmm. you know, we should have zero zero tolerance for it mm -hmm. and zero acceptance of it also. Yeah. So I, yeah. is that is that fair? You know, it's it's a personal you know observation of mine. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think it's a very fair comment. Uh, but over the years, mm -hmm. in fact, it was worse uh, in the oh yeah, in the of beginning, course. I but remember. I, yeah. I, I, but even three years ago, so it's you know, when, yeah. when we come to the international ranking mm -hmm. of where we are as far as piracy is concerned, mm -hmm. we were you know lowly ranked. Yeah, but, we were in a category we, of our own, maybe. But, but we have <laughs> climbed up and we have yeah. improved. Definitely, definitely. But I, I, I must say that the. They, they, they still need to be more awareness. Yeah, build, of course, uh. yeah. Uh, and in IP itself is a quite a complicated uh, yes. subject. There's trademarks, there's yeah. patents, there's uh, registration. Or disclosures. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that is an area that uh, a couple of our in the members, mm -hmm. like Microsoft and, and a few of the mm -hmm. key uh, players, okay. has uh, on their own, yes, you know? Yes, yeah. Uh, made a lot of effort, right, in collaboration yeah. with, like, say, BSA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, I think as far as PCOM is concerned, we mm. view strongly also mm. that the the creator or the inventor, mm -hmm. you know, of the software or, or services yes. or solutions yes. should be protected. Should be protected, right? yeah. So, therefore, I think 